Title, Method Statement on Installation of Cable Tray, Trunking, and Ladders for Electrical and ELV System. Project Name, Your Project Name. Contract Reference, Your Contract Number. Document Reference, MST002. Table of Contents. Topic Detail. Zero. Project Title and Details, Document Submittal and Status. Zero, zero. Table of Contents 1.0 Introduction 2.0 Scope 3.0 Related Documents 4.0 Terminologies and Abbreviations 5.0 Materials 6.0 Delivery Storage and Handling 7.0 Construction sequence and methodology. 8.0 Manpower requirement. 9.0 Plant and equipment. 10.0 Material requirement. 11.0 Housekeeping. 12.0 Control of safety and health hazards. 13.0 Training. 14.0 QA forward slash QC documentation 15.0 Distribution 16.0 Attachments Introduction This method statement covers the detailed procedure for installation and inspection of cable trays, trunking, and ladders. This procedure defines the method used to ensure that the installation and inspection of cable tray, trunking, and ladders have been carried out as per the contract specification requirements. Scope General Description This method statement describes the method and sequence of activities that will be required for the installation of cable tray, trunking and ladders for the construction and completion of this project. All the materials for the installation should be as per approved material submittals and installations should be done as per the approved shop drawings. The location and limits of the works will be for the project as shown in the relevant drawings and material submittals. Related Documents and References Project Specification International Standards and Codes of Practice Local Regulations Related Shop Drawings Terminologies and Abbreviations BS British Standard HSE Health Safety and Environment MEP Mechanical, Electrical and Plumbing Services QC, Quality Control MS, Method Statement IVP, Inspection and Test Plan PPE, Personal Protective Equipment RA, Risk Assessment TVT, Toolbox Talk Materials Cable tray, trunking, ladder, hangers and supports, tools other materials that may be required as per project requirements, approved MEP materials, delivery storage and handling. All delivered materials shall be placed in temporary site storage such as workshop and store. Delivered cable tray, trunking and ladders location shall be marked on site for proper identification. Storage on site must be clean and properly arranged to avoid any accident may occur. All materials delivered to site shall be inspected by the supervision consultant prior to installation and placement in the work. Site storekeeper forward slash foreman or assigned personnel shall check the delivery against dimension, length, make and finished as per approved material submittal and delivery note. Once accepted, quality team will inspect the materials as per approved mass, design requirements and latest approved drawing in which found approved, material inspection request to site, WIS, will be submitted for engineer's approval. Rejected materials shall be removed from site premises and forward slash or place in designated area and immediately returned and replaced by supplier. Construction Sequence and Methodology Planning and Preparation Ensure that all safety requirements are in place in accordance with project safety plan. Ensure that the latest revision of the approved shop drawing stamp with issued for construction is being used. The latest drawing shall be issued to the concerned people and the superseded drawing shall be surrendered to the document controller. Note that any areas on the drawing are subject to revision. Work should not proceed in these areas until an updated drawing has been issued. 
Any deviation shall be intimated to the engineer for approval. Ensure that all materials used have passed receiving inspection in accordance with QA procedures and are not damaged or defective. Any non-conforming materials must be labeled by storekeeper and returned to quarantine area in accordance with procedure. Ensure that all electricians and helpers are aware of the correct materials handling and installation procedure to ensure best quality of workmanship. Training shall be provided by site engineers as and when required. Installation of cable tray, trunking, and ladders. All materials to be used shall be as per the approved material submittal and drawings. Material inspection request shall be raised upon arrival of material at site for consultant's approval. Rejected materials during inspection shall be stored in a separate place marked as rejected material and shall be removed from the site slash yard later. The work shall be carried out on site in accordance with the approved shop drawings by experienced installer slash electrician under the strict supervision and guidance of the concerned supervisors slash engineers. Supervisor slash site engineer shall check the installation from time to time during the installation works. Cable tray, trunking, and ladder shall be properly cleaned prior to cable slash wire pulling for proper installations. Ensure that proper fittings and accessories shall be used during the installation. Ensure that whenever cable tray, trunking and ladder installation penetrates through the walls or slab, opening shall be closed with fire sealant as applicable. Access shall be provided as per approved shop drawings. Site engineer shall ensure that the installation is performed as per approved drawings, project specifications, approved material submittals. Work interfaces with other trades shall be coordinated to avoid clashes and overlapping. Engineer shall coordinate with the consultant and arrange for inspection for approval. Manpower requirement. Manpower requirement like site engineer, supervisor slash foreman, and electricians depend upon the planning organization chart and site progress of works plant and equipment electricians hand tools toolbox with electrician tools ppe such as helmets safety shoes harness masks hand gloves and goggles material requirement a cable tray b trunking c ladder D hammers and supports. E fittings. F material for tagging forward slash marking. Housekeeping. All workplaces where our personnel are working will be cleaned from the scrap materials derived from their work ensuring clean and healthy work environment as well as to maintain free access and egress in the event of emergency. Washing facilities should also be provided within the vicinity of the sanitary slash lavatory convenience and any changing facilities that are available. Washing facilities should include clean hot or warm and cold running water, soap, and towels, or equivalent. Trained and equipped first aid staff will be always on site. The first aid provisions are kept in the first aid station. The house plan outlines provision in place, applicable in the event of an emergency control of safety and health hazards implementation of health and safety mechanisms and checks shall be done as per contract agreement and the approved safety manual the safety officer shall carry out the necessary routine inspections safety lighting safety lights will be used in case of power failure ensuring good illumination for the personnel task lighting adequate lighting will be provided ensuring the good Illumination of the working area. Task lighting will be connected to the nearest. Site distribution port which is RCD protected. Emergency arrangements. Site general safety procedure will be followed. In case of emergency the safety officer will stop the work. He will put into action. The emergency arrangements as described in our safety manual. Risk controls. Risk assessment and their controls are carried out for the following activity slash hazards and enclosed with this method statement. Using hand tools. Disposal of waste materials. Training. Tradesmen performing the described work will be experienced technicians. If deemed necessary specific team slash individuals will undergo further training and awareness programs for this activity by the project slash QAQC departments. 
Toolbox Talks will provide general training and awareness for each activity and in health and safety matters and precautions. QA slash QC documentation. The following forms, checklists shall be used to verify the above activity to ensure that this activity is carried out as per the contract requirements. QC checklist for installation of cable tray, tracking and wrapping. Distribution. The copy of this method statement shall be issued to the following. 1. Main Contractor Project Manager slash Construction Manager Project slash Site Engineer QA slash QC Engineer Safety Engineer slash Officer Attachments The following documents shall be enclosed on this method statement. A. QC Checklist for Installation of Cable Tray, Trunking and Wrapping B. General Risk Assessment Form for Installation of Cable Tray, Trunking and Ladder C. Inspection and Test Plan, 